Hey there, welcome to another episode of Dear Blocko. Jay Robinson asks, why are old people so mean all the time? Interesting question and perfect timing. It's almost Thanksgiving and Grandma Blocko is in the kitchen making her famous cheesy pizza bagel stuffed pie, but Triangle Bob's grandpa, Grandpa Bobino, is grumbling about how everything costs too much. Why is everyone on the TV kissing each other before marriage? And he keeps saying that he liked it better when medicine used to be more dangerous? Yeah, it's a lot. But not every grandparent is grumpy. I'm sorry yours is. It's true though, sometimes as we get older, we can seem a little less patient or open-minded. There's a lot of older people making terrible choices affecting younger people right now, so I can see why you'd be upset. And it's not because we suddenly decided to stop liking things. A lot of it comes from how our brains change with age. As we get older, the part of the brain that helps with flexibility and self-control, called the prefrontal cortex, starts to slow down. That means it takes more effort to switch gears or handle surprises. Over time, the brain also builds build strong habits because patterns save energy, but that can also make it harder to accept new ones. Even though the brain can still rewire itself, a process called neuroplasticity, it does so more slowly with age. So it can seem exhausting when the world keeps throwing new tech, new slang, and new social rules at us. I don't know what 6-7 is, and that's okay. It's not for me. I don't have to get everything a teenager is into, and it's weird to try and brute force change into my vocabulary that was never intended for me in the first place, okay? <clears throat> anyway, another big factor is dopamine, the chemical that gives us the sense of reward when we try something new. Dopamine levels drop as we age, which means new things just don't feel as fun as they used to. Research shows that older brains respond less to novelty and take fewer risks. So when Grandpa Bobino rolls his eyes when someone's trying to teach him the new viral TikTok dance, his brain just might be saying, please no more updates, my CPU is fried and I've made a 0111000000 space 0110111 space 0110111 in my pants. According to the NIH, aging also changes how the amygdala, one of the brain's main emotion centers, communicates with the prefrontal cortex. Those changes can affect how emotions are controlled, sometimes making it harder to stay patient when things don't go as planned. Then there are the physical changes like sore joints, hearing loss, or plain old fatigue. That can wear down anyone's patience with time. There's also a mindset shift called socio-emotional selectivity. As we age, we start caring more about what really matters. Family, peace, comfort, and less about chasing every new trend. That's not grumpiness, that's just focus. But here's the good news, it's not set in stone. Studies link curiosity and mental flexibility in older adults to better well-being and stronger social connection. Exercise, learning new skills, and staying socially active all help keep those brain circuits sharp. People who stay curious often stay kind and open-minded too. The more we keep exploring, the better our brains age. The focus should be on increasing the health and well-being of older generations so their brains and body feel better for longer. So the next time Grandpa Bobino starts grumbling about the price of cranberry sauce because the TV told him to be mad at that, remember, his brain's just working a little differently, just like ours will someday. Show him something new, but go slow. And remember, patience goes both ways. So, do you have any grumpy grandparents? How old do you feel? Let me know in the comments, or tell me, what should I talk about next? <laughs> Wanna watch even more Life Noggin? Click here to watch this video, or here to watch this video YouTube thinks you'll like. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.